So, thank you for your buy our machines today. We will show you how to install our machine after you get it. First, after you open the packages, you will find some documents, the user manuals, packing list, and the user guiders. Then, you will find some spare parts you will see. First is the software and some spare parts for connecting the computer with the machine. The mouse, the RS232 cables, the cables for the computers and the power for the computers. This cable is for the machine and this line is to connect to the grounders. Now let me show you how to install the machine. First you will find that there is the USB cables. This is the connected to the machines. And then you will find this mouse and there is there is three USB cables. The mouse, the printers, and this is another use. After you do this, you will to connect the power to the computers. And this is the RS232 cables, which is can take the computer with the machine. After you finish this, the last is the pluggers for the after you, after you done this, please make sure every connection is the okay. Check it again. The, the power bug is here of the computers. Okay. After we open the computers, you will check the software buttons here. And if you not find this, please let me know and then we will send the software to you. If the interface is okay, and we should just uh, Going on the power of the machine. The, the machine will check, check by itself automatically. And uh, now we just uh, press the software buttons two times. And the software will be automatically run by itself. Now, we get the interface of the software and you will find there are three items. The item settings, sample testings, data search, system settings, report and exist. Now, let me show you how to set in the item. From here, we can add or delete the item you want to test or you don't want to test. Here. This is the HBSAG, and now let me show you how to modify or delete the I parameters you want to. Now we just choose and press the modify. From here, this is the parameters settings. Uh, here, you should just put in the name and the test measures, cal calculate measures, sample type. Quality additive tables, 
you should set all the parameters according to the reading specification or reading user manuals. And this software have put in all the measures you have made. And you just from here to choose the measures you wanted. And here is the wavelengths you will be needed. And you just choose the wavelengths because this software also how setting all the wavelengths you will be needed. After just you finish this, you just save. And then is the PC settings. Here will be cut off control ranges, negative control ranges, positive control ranges. All the numbers is also according to the original specification or original user manuals. After you do this, you just save. Then is the cut off formulas, and uh, you just uh, press here. Here you should put in the numbers of the formulas, but the numbers is also according to the reading specification. After we put in the numbers, we just to press the OK and save. Then it's OK. Now this item HBSAG is finished. Let me show you how to test the samples. From the here, the sample testings. After we get the interface of the sample testings, we can choose the item you want to test from the right, right corner. Here, you can choose the item you want to test. And then, we should choose the blank, negative, and the positive, then is the same person we want to test. After we choose the same person, you will see the start sample numbers. You can put in the numbers as you wanted or studied. Now we just put in 0, 1. And you can put the sample here or here as you like it. 1, 2. Okay. After we set in this, we should make sure that we should make sure the blank, the readings as done with the software here. So after we put in the reading and the samples in the qubit, now we just put the blanket here and cover it. After we done this, we just press the test. And waiting 15 or 20 seconds, we will get the results. Okay, now we choose the quality active. Then here is the results, and we just press the test reports. This is the results. And if we want to print out the results, there are two prints you can choose. One is the batch print, and the other is the single print. If we choose the batch print, you can print the some uh, some result one time, and if we choose the single print, you can just print out the one by one. Now we just choose this and press this. Then this result will be printed out. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Okay, after we do the uh, quality additive items, now let me show you how we. Uh, set and test the calibration items for example the item T3 we will show you how to set in the parameters and how to do the test now also from here we can add the item and modify 
from here. We just put in the item name you want to do the test and choose the test measures, calculate measures, sample types, and qualitative types. All the parameters should be according to the region specification or region user manners. And also, you can from here to choose all the measures because the software has setting down all the measures you can made from the daily testers. After you finish this, you just press the save buttons. And then we should choose the standard setting because this item is the calibration items. And from here, you can choose the standard counter you want to and the delivering the timers. Now, because the T3 is the file standard, and here we should put in the numbers of the standard, but you should mention one thing. The concentration need to be increased, just like this, from the 0 to the 6. After we setting all this, we just press the save button. And then it's OK. OK, now let me show you how to do the testers. From this interface, we press the sample testing. And from the left, left corner, we choose the item we will want to do the test. Then is the blank and the standard. Because the, they are file standard, so after we put in the file standard, the software will, will be warning you the standard corner have already reached the limited. And now we put in the samples as a sample. We can put in the standard number from 0 or 1 or as you like. You can put in the sample from this one or this line. Now we just put in here. Okay, after we set in this, we should make sure that we put in the regions and the blanket just the same with the software area which we set in. Then put the curve from here and cover it. Press the test button and waiting 15 or 20 seconds, we will get the results. Okay, now we get the result. We press the cal calibration the buttons and we will get the results. And we just press the test reports we can get the results. And if we want to add the patient's name, ages, sexes, or the hospital names, we will from here to add the. We just press the, we just get back this interface and press the report. You will find this and you just choose and then press the modify. From here, you can put in the name of the patient and the sickness, age, bed name, hospital name. And from the left corner, you can choose the sample types or submission department, submission doctors. Then you just You just press the save from here, you can choose. And if you want to add the hot pill name, you just press the system setting, system parameters. And from here, you can put in your hot pill names here, and the system data, you can choose. Then you just press the OK. OK? After you do this, you can just here 
and to print out the reports as you wanted. Okay, that's all. Thank you.